Hi, this is PD at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com, and this is tutorial 134. Now, in this tutorial, we're going to start creating our character panel, which is going to be responsible for, for displaying uh, the items we have equipped, our player attributes, and also their skills. So let's go ahead and open up Unity. And I'm going to open up the script we've been using for our GUI, which I've called My GUI. And Basically, I'm going to have it be the exact same as my inventory uh, size-wise, but the position I'm going to want to be different. So I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to copy everything I have for my inventory window. I'm even going to copy the comments. Well, yeah, we'll copy the comments too. And we'll just move them down here and we'll just say character window variables and instead of displaying inventory windows we'll display character window uh, we're not going to do the inventory window ID we want the uh, it's supposed to be all caps for my constants character window ID and I'm going to want to increase this so it's different so I'll make that a 2 and the private rect character window rec and I'm just going to start off in the same spot since we're going to make it draggable uh, later on we'll want to create a function that actually puts everything basically uniquely in a different position but for now we'll just have it in the same spot since they're draggable we can move them around and I will not need inventory rows or columns so we got that part done uh, now I'm going to come down here and um see so we'll just copy the inventory one. And of course instead of using the inventory window rack, we're gonna use the character window rack. And instead of the inventory window ID, we use character window ID. And we'll change this to character as well. Uh, we're not going to call the inventory window here. Let me just change this to character. Uh, we want to call a different function, which we're going to call, uh, I guess, character window. So I'm going to come down to the bottom. Uh, actually, not quite at the bottom. I'm going to put it right after. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, I'm going to do it right before set tooltip. So public void I guess I could have made it private I don't believe anything else is ever going to call this function but just in case character window and of course it takes one int for a parameter which is going to be the ID of the window and we're going to want to make it draggable so GUI dot uh, I think it was drag window yes it is and that's enough for that right now um, I want to call this function up here now. And we called it character window. And we'll also want to change this. All right, so I'm going to go up and make sure that this starts off at true, which it does. Right down here. <laughs> and I guess we'll shrink some of this stuff down too. And I'm just going to save it off and go take a look, make sure everything's running fine. And I have no error, so let's go in and take a look. And as you can see, they both start at the same position, so they're just overlapping, but that's fine. We have it displaying. And, uh, you know, it's titled right. And obviously I got the IDs different, so let's go in and start actually doing stuff with it. Now the first thing I'm going to want to do, actually if I just start it back up, we can take a look. I'm going to want to have some sort of row of buttons at the top here so I can switch between uh, the character uh, or sorry our equipped items our, our player attributes and our skills and as far as the layout goes it's completely customizable to yourself like you might want to have this wider maybe taller a lot of it's also going to depend on the resolution that you're creating your game on I know I'm going to want mine in a web player uh, version so I want to start planning things to basically be 
as small as possible. And I know that my web player that I'm looking at is going to be at the smallest width, 600. So that's one of the reasons why I have my panel so small. So I know eventually I'm going to be changing this window down at the bottom here when we open items. I don't really like that actually now that I've done it. So I'm going to be changing it over to something similar to our inventory and our character panel where just it's free moving up here. And I'm probably just going to have like three rows across and just infinite rows down. All right. I didn't realize you could click through there. And sometimes you can. Okay. So I'm going to close that down. And I'm going to start putting these buttons up here. Now there's a few ways we can do it. We can actually just use uh, GUI buttons and have some sort of code in there to check so that uh, when we say we're on the equipment panel uh, to deactivate the equipment panel button so we can change it to a label or something like that and then when we click on the attributes button it changes to a label so we can't click it anymore and of course we'd want to display uh, the proper stuff down below. Uh, there's a few other ways we could do it. We could probably use the toggle button with these as well but uh, the one that I think would probably be the easiest to use would be the toolbar. So I'm going to come down to the function that we created for it, which is right down here. And I'm going to create a toolbar down here. Now the toolbar is going to need two things that we set up beforehand. And I'm going to come up here to our character variables, our character panel variables. And I'm going to create them up here. The first one will be a private int. And this is going to store what... Uh, button we press on the toolbar so we know you know what stats to show do we show the equipped items do we show the character attributes or do we show the the character skills and i'm just going to simply call this underscore uh, character panel and i'm just going to start it off at zero by default and next i'm going to want to create an array and since I only have three things that I want to actually display, uh, I'm just going to put them all up here. So I'm going to call this character panel, uh, I guess we'll say names. And of course I'll make this a new string. And I'm actually going to go ahead and actually define all of them up here. Usually I come down to start or something like that, but we can just do them all up here. And the way you do that is I uh, just actually just start adding them. So I'm going to say equipment. Uh, next will be attributes. And then skills. We'll close that off. And I'm just going to cut and paste the character panel part. Because now when I come down to our function we defined for it, I'm going to paste that uh, variable we're using to store the int of what tab we have open on the toolbar. And I'm just going to put an equal sign, then basically uh, put the GUI toolbar in here to pull out what tab we're on. So that's GUI.toolbar. And then we're going to want to define the rect where the toolbar is. I'm just going to hard code it for now. So new rect. And I'm going to put a 5 from the side, uh, keep the same spacing that I have been with the rest of my GUI as far as the internal parts go. I'm going to set it 25 down from the top. Uh, I'm going to get the rect that we're using for our player window. For the width, I'm going to say get the width of the window that you're in and then minus 10. And 10 being twice the whatever we're using for the offset over here. And then for the height, uh, I'm just going to want to, I'll just start off with basically uh, a defined height. 50, 50 seems pretty good for a button. So if we move on to the next part, you're going to see that it's looking for an integer of selected. And it wants to know what button uh, is, is currently selected. So I'm just going to copy that variable in here. And next they want to know what the, the GUI content in an array is. Uh, we can put our string down here. Now we could define our string down there as well, or at least just put in the uh, the string values that we have up here. But since I've actually gone ahead and made it a string up top, just so it's a little easier to manage up top, I'm going to just put that in. 
And then after that, we can actually define our GUI style. Uh, for now, I'm not going to use a GUI style. I'm just going to stick with the buttons that it's going to generate for us. So I'll just close that off. Uh, put my semicolon at the end, and let's go look at it. Now, the buttons are going to be too big for the display that I have uh, defined for my width automatically. But you can change that through your, your GUI style. And we can take a look at that after we get everything placed out. So basically it gives us three buttons here. It starts off as you can see equipment is the first one and it's highlighted. So you can go hit attribute and then you can go hit skill and it keeps track of which one you're on. So let's stop that off and let's just keep working on our equipment. Actually it seems that we're nearing the 11 minute mark so I'm just going to end this one here and we'll pick it up in the next one. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.